Um, first up is Laura McGuire, uh, who I have a pleasure to introduce. Uh, first time in the four years we've been doing this, I believe a student comes in and presents from OSU. Uh, she is working on her PhD in Cognitive Systems Engineering. Uh, if you'd like to know what that is, don't ask me. That's what Google's for. Um, she is a lead staffer with the Snafu Catchers Consortium, working with digital service companies to explore complexity in IT operations. Fits well for DevOps. Um, and unlike most of us here, is looking forward to winter as part of being Canadian. So, without further ado, Lord McGuire. So as a graduate researcher, I spent the last two years studying site reliability engineers and how they handle system outages. And despite everything that the public speaking books told me not to do, I am here to tell you, the audience, that you are wrong. And it's not about everything, but the reality is that the DevOps world makes you wrong. It makes smart, technical, credible, experienced people uh, wrong. Continuous deployment, uh, demands for near-perfect reliability, unanticipated interactions and dependencies, these things can surprise you in how they take down the system. And those surprises show us that you are wrong about how you think the world works and how the world actually works. But you know what? That's okay. It's part of what it means to be an expert practitioner working in uncertain, ambiguous, time-constrained, and goal-conflicted worlds. In fact, to be an expert is not only to have deep knowledge that you can quickly and flexibly apply to new or uncertain, unstructured problems, but it's actually important to recognize that your mental model of how the world works is only partial and it's going to be incomplete. So expert knowledge is not neatly wrapped up in little boxes with bows on them. It's buggy, it's missing things, there's holes in it, and sometimes it's buried so deep that it's dormant. But even though you have holes in your mental models, you still know things because there's no cognitive vacuum. In the absence of knowledge, people will create explanations about how the world works to be able to navigate situations. And this is such an important point that I am going to give you a whole blank slide to think about it. There is no cognitive vacuum. Even though we don't know the technical details behind, behind how something works, if I were to ask, you would give me an explanation. Because we use mental mod models to make inferences about what's going on inside the automation and how the system will react when we perform different actions, and design can help provide affordances or appearances or experiences that give feedback to calibrate those. So a recent study from uh, NC State did just exactly this. It looked at how people use mental models to figure out the strategies, the characters, and the locations within the game. And they refined these over time so that they were able to anticipate and exploit opportunities. But unfortunately, poor design also impedes our ability to update our mental models. And healthcare researchers looking at infusion pumps discovered that doctors got disoriented when they were programming the machines, which made it difficult to keep an accurate mental model. DevOps has a mental model. This is an excerpt from the Stella report that our lab produced. Not gonna go into it right now because it's pretty complicated, but section 2.3 at stella.report will tell you more. So whether you're deploying new code every 11 seconds or every 11 days, at some point your mental model is gonna go stale like old bread. So this creates challenges for you to detect, to diagnose, and to repair what's actually going on in the system. So let's recap. Mental models are necessary. It's gonna be wrong sometimes. If you don't know, you're gonna fill in the blanks. So what's an SRE to do? Well, it is definitely not to do this. Instead of stories that make it seem like everybody else knows what's up and what's going on, we need people who say, I don't know how that works, or I didn't know that it worked that way. And we see it over and over in systems engineering research that the complexity, as the complexity of the system increases, the accuracy of your mental model is going to decrease. And the empirical truth means that we need to design the system of work to help support and maintain accurate mental models. So our technologies need to support you in constructing and updating the models to keep pace with the rate of change in the world. 
And we need opportunities to bring together multiple diverse perspectives so that those models can have a chance to overlap. And while it is dubious life advice at the best of times to quote Justin Bieber or to suggest you follow Justin Bieber, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna say, be like the Biebs. When you don't know, just ask. We need to start a revolution to redefine expertise as the ability to say, I didn't know it worked that way, so that other people feel comfortable sharing their own wrongs. So whatever you do today, please keep in touch. Thank you so much for your time.